striking for a fair pay rise. Um, our pay has been devalued by about 20% in the last 10 years, and obviously that's led to a massive recruitment and retention crisis. So we're fighting for fair pay and for decent staffing. We're often working at half the safe staffing level we're supposed to work at. Um, we're often having to work through our breaks, um, even on 12-hour, 13-hour shifts. Um, we do a lot of overtime, a lot of it unpaid, to be honest. Um, and we just can't provide the standard of care to our patients that we want to, and we just can't accept it anymore. Anyway. It's totally soul-destroying to, to sit for a whole 12-hour shift with the same patient on board, with you knowing that that patient needs to get into the hospital to get the intensive care that they, they require. The bigger picture to that as well is NHS um, and social care is in total crisis. And therefore, because the, um, the, 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 we're bringing patients into the hospital, we can't unload those patients in hospital because the beds are all full. They can't empty the beds to, um, for, for people to go back into the community because there's no, there's no care in the community or very little care in the community for them to do that. So it's a huge catch-22 uh, situation. They all need appropriate funding to be able to resolve this situation and pay is part of that because we can't encourage people to join the service if the services are, are all in dire straits but also if we can go and work in, in a supermarket and get paid more why would people want to come and do this job? Um, interviews go out for new members of staff and people don't, there's nobody turns up for the interviews because they have so much choice of jobs in the hospital. Um, yeah, people leaving all the time, good nurses leaving and they're not being replaced. One of my colleagues left just a couple of months ago um, for, for a job in the casino because she would get more money in the casino and she was a fantastic health care support worker, you know? And yeah, it's just so sad. I've been in the hospital for three years now, and the first time I spent ten months in hospital. And I'm, I'm watching these men and women having to run for me to be because they're so understaffed. When one operation's done, it's the nurses that do the majority of care. And for three years now, I'm, I'm relying on nurses basically to stay healthy and keep alive. And the way this government treats all workers, not just the nurses, the ambulance drivers, the train drivers, this is all about, this, this is what this is about. It's not that these people are no looking for. They're not greedy people, they're not looking for big wages, they're looking for a, a sustainable wage so they don't have to eat at food banks and, and so basically so there's, enough, there's enough staff to, to, to cover the patient. They don't have enough staff in there and this government for 10 years now has refused to fund the NHS and they've done it deliberately. But we've been blown away by the level of public support. Um, and yeah, we just feel really determined and obviously a lot of people here have come back for a second day of strike action so we're just going to determine to keep going until we go, fair deal and the government. What we're saying is we are willing to negotiate. We can't negotiate if you won't talk. We're willing to talk. Why aren't you? Personally, I think that they're not willing to talk to us because they don't care. Um, they're already starting to privatise the NHS in, uh, in England. There are many, many departments that have been privatised through the back door. Um, and they want to sell it off. They've said it before. The, the, the actions that they're, in, that, that they're doing clearly show they do not care about the NHS. They want everybody to be, able to, to be paying for it and not getting it free at the point of, of contact. He needs to talk to us, you know, Mark Drakeford, you know, I think he really needs to get involved, you know, and apparently the RCN have heard nothing from the Welsh Government, which is a real shame. Obviously, Steve Barclay is saying that they have no intention of giving us any more pay, that they can't afford it, but they are under a lot of pressure um, from their own ministers and from previous heads of the pay review body. Um, so I think obviously there's lots of public pressure and support for us and more ambulance and NHS workers are coming out on strike with us soon. So yeah, I think they will give us a fair deal, they have to. The reason I'm here today 
And because I watched the BBC News this morning and they were disgraceful. The, the, the slant that the BBC put was on it. Look at these nurses and ambulance going to strike. Poor patients, patients are going to suffer. No, patients are suffering because this Tory government refuses to fund the NHS. This is disgraceful, so disgraceful. <laughs> So if, uh, if they will not um, come round the table, then we will continue the actions that, that, that we're, we're doing. Um, as much as we possibly can, we will protect the public. Um, but we need the public on, on our side telling Richie Sunak and the, and the Tory government that they have no choice. They have got to save our NHS and they need to pay those hard-working people that saved us during the pandemic. They need to save them now. We stood on the, uh, the, the doorsteps and clapped for them. Claps don't pay the bills. They need a decent pay rise, and it needs to be a, an inflation-busting pay rise. He's the one that's creating this, not the hard-working medics that are out there. And as you can see here, most of them are still out there, even though they're on strike. Um, I think the TUC should be coordinating a general strike. I think to together we can you know, achieve what we want, achieve fair pay for everyone. So I do think we should coordinate. And we have seen a lot of solidarity from um, trades councils, from um, the RNT, posties. We have seen a lot of solidarity from other striking workers. So, yeah, I think we should be coming together. Um, well, until the government talk to us, you know, and talk pay, um, we'll just continue. I think it's, it, there's provisional dates, not that we've been made aware of the dates, set until May, so we'll just carry on, you know, and um, it's, it's too important. And, I, and we will win. We may not get as much as you know, they're asking for, but, you know, we will win, and um, as long as we all stand together, and I hope that's the case, yeah.